Welcome back to Pro Sports Podcasters on YouTube. My name is Kubera Ron. Most of you know me as Kobe from the podcast. And today I want to look at where we're at with NFL all day. We are supposed to be in the middle of our week of deals that they had promised with the teaser with Patrick Mahomes signing on, basically, as a spokesperson for NFL All Day. But that's been delayed, pushed back to a later date. And as a result of that, there are a number of things taking place on the marketplace, plus a few things that have happened in free agency and during the offseason in the NFL that are really taking effect right now. And the first of which is impatience. So everyone got up. Everyone got excited. Everyone's like right on a week of deals, a week of promotions. Let's see what, we'll see what goes on here. We had that first day where things didn't go smoothly because what they had tweeted out wasn't exactly what it was. <laughs> and since then, it's been sit by the internet and wait to see what happens. They finally announced that, okay, things didn't go as smoothly as they liked. They're going to push it back. So you're left hanging. And as a result of this, people who are looking to spend on the marketplace this week, thinking that there'd be opportunities to be had, the money's just burning, burning a hole in their online wallets, and they started, they started spending anyways. So a number of rares, key rares, have been going up in value on the marketplace. And I expect them to continue going up in value through the weekend because I don't think anything's planned up until next week, really, when it comes to NFL all day. So you're going to see not only your collection values go up, but prices go up as far as the key players that are available, specifically rares, and also maybe triple badge rookies or high-end commons on the marketplace over the weekend. Now, by the time the next pack drop is announced and some of these deals start to happen, whatever they may be, you're going to see a dip again. So there's a lot of activity, a lot of talk on the Discord, a lot of talk on Reddit about this This particular player is going up, this, this player's value is shooting up through the roof. Don't miss out. Trust me, you're not missing out. There's, there's nothing to miss out on. It's going to come back down relatively quickly. I've been watching a couple of Patrick Mahomes moments, and because of the announcement, they had shot up. Even the most basic common reached something like $90. Now it's back down to about $50. Every day it goes down a little bit further. So you've got some people that thought they hit it big when they, you know, bought a Patrick Mahomes common at like 49 bucks or something. But trust me, it's, it's going to be right back down there within a day or two anyways, because it's not considered the chase Patrick Mahomes moment. As a result of that, and the fact that nothing's going on, it's gone back down. People spent their money hoping to get some kind of return, realized it wasn't going to happen, and now they're just trying to get their money back. So that's what's going on there. Now, in the NFL, we've got a couple of big, big things happen. So the first of which, and the biggest of which really is Devontae Adams going to the Raiders. And immediately there's a bit of a run on some of the Alan Lazards, and I, I understand that. I picked up a couple of additional Alan Lazards because he's going to be a big, kind of a key piece to their offense next season. He's not going to be the wide receiver one. Don't get that in your head because I guarantee you the Green Bay Packers are going to, they're going to sign either one or maybe multiple of the best wide receivers that are available in the market right now. And that includes Jarvis Landry, Juju Smith-Schuster, Julio Jones just got released, and OBJ, because I don't think LA is going to be able to keep him now that they've acquired Allen Robinson. And all of those receivers are capable receivers, and they're not going to cost that much. Realistically, for what the Raiders paid for Devontae Adams, they can afford two or three of those guys, no problem. And on top of that, they got additional picks, so they can look to snag a stud wide receiver in the draft as well. So don't get too excited about the receivers that are on the Packers roster right now. Although Lazard does have a little additional value now because of what's happened, but not a huge amount. Okay. Like I said, I picked a couple up, a couple of comments, just because I think they'll go up a little bit when the time comes. So that happened. Another key thing to look at here is the amount of defensive players that have bounced around. Okay. There's a lot of defensive movement here, big defensive players and still a few to be signed. And it's important to note where they go because it leaves a hole elsewhere. And right now, the stack, 
division is the AFC West. The AFC West teams have been just getting everyone. And this is basically a power race, right? This is three teams that are unwilling to just lay down and play dead for the Kansas City Chiefs. I've always maintained that Patrick Mahomes is actually a little bit overrated because he had the opportunity to join a team that was already set, right? He stepped into a perfect situation. The opposite of, say, a a Trevor Lawrence, you know, or a Zach Wilson situation where you end up going to the team that sucks, and that's why you were drafted high. Patrick Mahomes, fortunately for him, he fell, fell down the draft a bit, got picked up by the Kansas City Chiefs, who had just finished a couple of winning seasons under Alex Smith, and then took over in a perfect situation. Now, as a result of that, his stats, his numbers, everything is inflated. They've already got a, a Super Bowl ring, and you can't discount how great he is, but I don't think he's as good as everyone else anticipates. And this season, we're going to see exactly how that is because the other teams in the division were not willing to roll over and lay dead. They all went out. They've got all of them have solid quarterbacks, a great pass rush, great receivers. Like it's going to be a very good division to watch. This is completely different than what happened in the AFC East when Brady was there. When Brady was in the AFC East, the other three teams just decided it's not worth it. We're not going to win. The Patriots are too good. Brady is too dominant. Why spend a whole shitload of money trying to develop a team that's not going to get there because we're going to get beaten by someone in our own division? That's what happened there. So Brady had basically a cakewalk for a decade as a result of that. That's not happening in the AFC West. And that's because, like I feel... The coaches and the general managers of those other teams, being the Las Vegas Raiders, the Denver Broncos, one of my favorite teams, and the Los Angeles Chargers, all believe that the Kansas City Chiefs aren't some juggernaut that the New England Patriots were under Brady. So a lot of defensive players have gone there. And as a result of this, you've got a couple of divisions, specifically in the NFC, that are very weak defensively. One of the divisions, one of the teams that got hurt, Seattle Seahawks. And Arizona Cardinals, same division. And the San Francisco 49ers, same division. So the LA Rams, I mean, we should see them in the Super Bowl again this year, really. I, you could probably go ahead and place a bet on them now and feel pretty good about it. They're only going to have to get past maybe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who have also benefited because their division has lost some key defensive players as well, where they themselves have added additional additional strength to their roster. So these are things to look at. And when it comes challenge time, you're going to want to have offensive players on some of those teams I mentioned that have, have weakened defenses in their own divisions. And then you're going to want to have those defensive players in the AFC West because it's going to be a war all season long. You're going to see some very impressive numbers coming out of some of those teams defensively because of the amount of players they've put together. That's the update for today. Hopefully things get going next week and we'll see what this week of promotions is actually about. And like I said, be patient. Don't start jumping on the marketplace and just buy them because you're bored. Wait until next week. Wait to see what happens. And especially when there's a pack drop announced, I guarantee you the prices will come back down. Till then.